Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates. So, I'm just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. I've just finished the second week of December readings for each sign. You can find that in the uh, community tab, the playlist, or just on my homepage. I will be closing the private le readings uh, app here in a couple of days. So if you want to book, book now. King of Cups. So the King of Cups is somebody that is very feeling, very loving, looking for love. So we may have somebody here that is looking for love. Looking for our relationships. Maybe this person feels like this person has some sort of, may have good intentions. Um, very, very charming, romantic. Somebody that has a very, very big heart that is looking for love. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is reaching out, extending an offer. Somebody's going to be getting an offer um, from an individual that does have good intentions. Uh, this could lead to something solid, something long-term. This uh, is something stable with the Knight of Pentacles. So, um, somebody's been planning. They've been planning to make an offer. They've been planning a, planning um, to follow their heart as well. Somebody's heart has been guiding them in a certain direction. Um, we have a very gentle, kind individual that is... Uh, extending an offer and is a solid offer. Four of Swords reversed. Now this is maybe to heal. Maybe somebody wants to help somebody heal. Um, exhausted and fed up. Want Somebody may want to reconnect. They're done taking a break. You know, maybe they've been taking a break Maybe they're done taking a break, you know. Maybe they've gone through some sort of awakening or something. Maybe it's a spiritual awakening. Um, maybe even a... Somebody may even be getting an apology, okay? They may be getting an apology. Um, this Four of Swords reversed is... A, somebody here is um, very frustrated. They're frustrated, they may want, I don't know if somebody wants forgiveness. Knight of Swords reversed. Justice reversed. Oh my goodness. Somebody's been treated unfairly. They've been treated unfairly. They've done something. Maybe they've done something against the law. They may have even committed a crime. You know, somebody may have committed a crime. Um, or they broke the law, or they did something that um, has gotten them in trouble. Uh, Knight of Swords reversed is out of control, dangerous, be careful. We, we could have a rule breaker here, somebody that thinks that they are above the law, so I think that you need to be careful here. I feel like somebody is extending an offer to an individual that may not be very awakened. You may need to really look deep look deep at whoever you are getting an offer from because this person and I and I know I'm changing the story but this is my second reading my second daily and it's playing out exactly like the first one we have a dangerous individual here we do we have a date and that one was so scary that it would scare the bejeebers right off of you so I, I I really feel like we have a dangerous individual here that um, is above the law and I feel like they don't they don't care who they hurt and anybody that gets in their path is fair game okay so um, be careful with who you accept anything from okay we have somebody here that is looking for love they, they're feeling unloved and they're looking for, for love and I feel like this is a test okay this is a test it's going to be a test for you a test of your um, knowledge, right? A test of your awareness. Your awareness is going to be tested, okay? Um, I feel like if, if somebody is truly interested in you, they won't be in a hurry. They'll move slow. So if somebody is in a hurry, they, they want to move really, really fast, consider that um, a red flag, okay? Consider it a red flag. I think we have a dangerous individual here. 
for the Knight of Swords reversed that um, this is a know-it-all. This is somebody that is insincere that may even have some mental health problems that, you know, is probably willing to break the law to get whatever they want. So I think that um, this person may be making an offer, but they have some sort of hidden agenda. I think that you, you got somebody around you that has a hidden agenda. All right. Um, I don't know. There could even be a theft. We have a liar here. Um, there's somebody here that is being dishonest. Uh, there could be an argument with no resolution in sight. Okay. With these cards, uh, Somebody may have gotten in a fight with somebody and, and they are breaking a contract. Maybe that makes them realize something. So that now I'm changing the story a little bit. I do see a false contract here. I see somebody may have gotten into some sort of contract very, very fast and now they, they may regret it. We have an, an ignorant with, with a Knight of Swords reverse, an ignorant individual who um, has done something um, probably that they shouldn't have done with justice reversed and they may have received some bad karma for doing so um, we have somebody here that is very frustrated they are exhausted they are fed up they may be extending you know an apology or an offer this person may have some sort of regrets they may have regrets uh, my advice is if you do go down this path, go very, very slow. Go very slow. Take your time. There's no hurry. Um, justice reversed. It's been an injustice. Somebody has not um, acted with integrity. They didn't do the right thing. And they may have experienced some, some chaos or uproar in their life with that Knight of Swords reversed. Or some karma, some karma of some bad karma of their own. Um, the Hermit, the Sun, happiness, growth, rebirth, renewal. Somebody may be hoping for renewal, okay? They may be hoping for a new life, hoping for a new beginning. They may be, they may be extending an offer to start over you know um i think somebody's health has been impacted their health has been impacted by a poor decision that they have made somebody has become enlightened by some sort of karmic situation they've become enlightened um, now they have re-identified and they've been they've been planning something um but they may be fearful. So this could be fearful in reverse. Somebody may be fearful of coming forward. You know, they're in no hurry because they may be fearful of rejection. I feel like I feel like we have an individual that has uh done something. They they haven't been dishon they have been dis they have been dishonest. They've been lying. They've been lying about their feelings. That's what it is. Because this is feelings and this is lying. Somebody's been lying about their feelings. They've been um, thinking a lot. Really, really, really thinking a lot. You know, contemplating. Um, probably uh, scared of not being accepted. And I think they're scared of not being accepted because of the injustice that they have, you know, done in the past. But they will be accepted because of that sun card. That sun card is acceptance. Interesting. <laughs> Now, this is, the sun card is a breakthrough. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a new start. It's a, it's a life-giving energy. This is an opportunity for a new life. Somebody is getting a solid opportunity for a new life. Could even be a, somebody could be getting news of a birth, okay, or a pregnancy or something like that. But that sun card is, an, is a gold, and this is a golden opportunity for you know, happiness. So somebody is offering an opportunity um, after taking a break. It's like this is the end of taking a break. 
this may even have something to do with the reconciliation, but it doesn't have to be. This could be a new start, okay? It is. It could be something brand new. Um, but this Knight of Swords reversed is some sort of... Uh, oh, clueless, ignorant individual, okay? That blames everybody that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Maybe this person has become enlightened. Maybe that's who they used to be. Because this is the past. It is. They've become enlightened. So somebody may have become enlightened, you know. Maybe they were ignorant. Maybe they, they didn't want to be held accountable. But they've probably... Uh, re-identified or become enlightened for maybe because of karma maybe they got themselves involved with somebody who uh, abused them you know uh, that's what it looks like we got here somebody has gone within I think it's this person. And it could be it could be anybody. Somebody has gone within. Okay? They have reflected. And they've realized something. Somebody has realized something about themselves, about their their identity. They have. And now they're looking for love, right? They're looking for love. Queen of Pentacles reversed, right underneath that King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed. So the Queen of Pentacles reversed is a very jealous, suspicious, possessive individual. This person is insecure. Okay, so we have an insecure individual who uh, may be very, very stubborn. This may be a hardliner. You know, this is somebody who uh, it's this way or the highway. You know, this is somebody who doesn't budge. Very, 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 very stubborn. Very um, jealous as well. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is unwilling to budge. There's some sort of instability here. We have some we have we have a a king of cups that is looking for love. There is there is a very stubborn, hard individual here who is jealous and possessive and doesn't trust. This person doesn't trust. I feel like there's going to be a fight. Um, I do. I do. I feel like there, there's going to be an argument with no resolution in sight with an individual that is very possessive. This person is possessive. They're controlling. I think, I think there's a controlling individual who is about to um, lose something. Because it's going to be given to somebody else. They're about to lose something of emotional value. And it's because of their stubbornness. It's because of their possessiveness. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is boring. Okay, this person may not take very good care of themselves. This is a careless attitude. This person is... Um, rigid, uh, tedious, boring, obsessive, compulsive, um, dull, you know, this could be somebody that is very, very dull, you know, not very exciting, um, disloyal as well. We could have an individual that is looking at, a, at another individual that isn't loyal. This person isn't loyal. They may have done something. They treated somebody unfairly, which has caused uh, this other person to reevaluate 
their previous actions. That's exactly what we have here. It's karma. So somebody has received some karma for their actions and now they realize the Nine of Cups on the bottom. Somebody is hoping and wishing I feel like for a new beginning and happiness with somebody that I feel like they, you know, um, wow, this person, there's cobwebs around this person, you know, it's like they left this person to die. And I hate to say it in those words, but, you know, they left this person on their own. And I feel like there's some sort of regrets here. I do see an offer that is coming. It's a very good offer. This is this is an extreme happiness. Somebody just wants happiness and they're willing to um I don't know if it's an apology or not. Don't get your hopes up because a lot of people can't apologize, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist. A narcissist will not apologize no matter what. Anyhow, this sun card is happiness. Somebody is getting a golden opportunity for happiness. But there's, 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 this, this is extremely tired, exhausted. Given up. This person may have given up. It may be too late. It may be, I mean, typically this is the death of a person or idea. It may be too late. Maybe, it may be too late. This person has definitely took a very, very, very long time. It could be too late, but I don't think so because this is being accepted. So this is like the offer being accepted. Somebody is going to be accepting an offer. Or an apology or something like that. Now this is this is this is from poor health to great health. So somebody's health is going to be getting better. Somebody may also be moving to a warm place. That sun card is a warm place. Anyway, we have an individual that is reevaluating and they are thinking about the poor choices that they have made. And I think that they're thinking because they have received some sort of karma. And all they want now is happiness. Somebody wants happy. This is, this is extreme happiness again. They're hoping and wishing and praying for happiness. So yeah, I feel like there's an offer that is coming that could make somebody extremely happy and it could improve their health. And this doesn't have to be love. Whatever this offer is, it is going to improve somebody's health. Their health is going to improve greatly. Okay? Somebody's health is going to improve as soon as they do the right thing, act with integrity. Somebody hasn't acted with integrity because that justice is in reverse and they received some karma for it. And now they've become enlightened. I mean, that hermit card is enlightenment. It is. They may want to reconnect. I feel like somebody has been planning their next move. One more card. It's all about happiness. I just want to be happy. Somebody that has good intentions 
is going to be extending a solid offer that could lead to a lot of happiness. This person has been planning it because this is a this is a planner. They've been planning it. Somebody could even be getting a proposal. They could be getting a ring. They don't even see it coming. Oh, there it is. That nine of cups again. Wish, fu wish fulfillment. Happiness. Extreme satisfaction. We have somebody here that is totally, totally praying. They're going to get what they want. Their wish is going to be granted. Somebody is going to be accepted. They have been wishing and hoping and praying for something. And whatever they've been wishing for, they're going to get. Because this is wish fulfillment. The answer is yes. You're going to get what you asked for. Somebody's going to get what they asked for. They, they may feel distraught over it or frustrated and think they're not going to get it. Or they may think they're not going to be accepted, but they are. Somebody may have made some poor financial decisions, you know. They may be very worried, but... I still feel like they're going to be accepted. Queen of Pentacles reverse is somebody that uh, could go multiple different ways, but I feel like somebody has, there's been an injustice or a theft or something that may have not gone in a person's favor, but I feel like the, the tides are about to change, okay? King of Swords reverse. There's been some sort of abuse. There's been abuse, bullying, mental abuse. Somebody has been cold and withdrawn. And not telling the truth. But now they're going to follow their heart. Yeah, we have an abusive, cold, hard, uncaring individual that has become enlightened and now they just want to be happy they may have chosen to be alone or they chose to be with the wrong one because they needed to prove a point but I feel like they've learned their lesson through karma there's been there's bad karma here anyhow A message is coming from an individual that is looking for love, they're looking for happiness, they want to have it all, and they're hoping to be accepted. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> 